What's going on, guys? Johnny on the track back with another video. And yes, it's that time of the week again. Best bets and drivers to watch this weekend at Darlington Raceway, nicknamed the Lady in Black. It'll be the throwback race. Um, great uh, guests in the booth. Richard Petty will be there. Bill Elliott will be there. Bobby Labonte will be there. Um, I think it goes Petty Stage 1. Uh, Le- Bonte maybe two and then Bill Elliott three. I think it's something like that. Um, but those three will be in the booth. So that'll be awesome um, to listen at a throwback race to listen to what those guys have to say. Um, I really enjoyed the broadcast last week, even though um, like the race got rained out and everything. I thought that with Larry and Clint there together, that was a, that was a good mesh. Um, I think Boyer has been up and down this season, but I think when they had a crew chief like Mary, Larry uh, McReynolds really, give good analysis um, and kind of keep Clint tame uh, if you will. So, um, but no matter what, it's going to be an awesome weekend. I'm super excited. The cars that um, a lot of the throwback schemes look amazing. Um, So this should be always one of the best races to watch. If you're a diehard fan one, because Darlington is an awesome track. um, But just two, because it is so, so cool to see those cars out there, um, you know, mirrored after some legends and, and some, some iconic cars. So, Um, Can't wait to see what everybody's got out there uh, on Sunday. So just real quick, we'll go back to um, last week, which was Dover and we killed it. We absolutely killed it. Um, Obviously Chase Elliott got the win. I I, I saw that one coming. I saw Hendrick having a dominant day. Um, One of their guys winning. It just happened to be Chase Elliott. Um, So shout out Chase there um, bringing in me the big bucks Thanks so much, Chase. Uh, appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we nailed it. Um, Chase Elliott to win. I talked a good amount about him. I told you a big name would win. I told you to look at Hendrick, um, and that's certainly what happened. So um, let's keep the momentum going into this week. So look, plain and simple, Darlington, nickname the, the Lady in Black. This is a very, very difficult track. Um, so kind of what I looked with last week with the monster mile, um, this is a wheelman's track. You're going to see a big name win this thing. And and I'll put, I I can guarantee that a big name is going to win this race. Um, you're not going to have any kind of shock winner, no upset winner. A wheelman will win this race because this Dover Darlington back to back. Those are two very, very difficult tracks. Um, so that, you know, has to play in with a lot of what I'm thinking. If we look at last year, um, JGR won both those races. Martin Truex Jr. won uh, the first race, which is this one. And then later on in the playoffs, uh, Denny Hamlin edged out Kyle Larson. Um, and if you remember, Larson came like, you know, uh, like jetted it around the corner to try, like video gamed it, right? Video gamed it around the corner to try to beat Hamlin. Uh, it ended up being a really good finish, but um, Denny Hamlin edged him out. Uh, which th- that turned out to be an awesome race. Darlington, I think, really has a good chance to deliver a great one this weekend. I thought Dover was pretty good, but I think Darlington could step it up a notch. Um, so, Wheelman's track. Um, so, I think JGR is a, is a good play to look at. Um, the name that comes, well, I would say really three names, I guess. But th- the two that I think come to mind are Denny Hamlin and, no, not Martin Truex Jr. I actually think Kyle Busch. Um, is a guy that we should look at uh, this weekend. Had two really good finishes at Darlington last year in both those races. And if you look at, he he probably should have won that Dover race, if not for pitting at an unlucky time. I think Kyle Busch at times had the best car. Him and Alex Bowman flew through the field. Um, So I actually look to Kyle Busch uh, to, to, to deliver here. I think he's going to have a really, really good day. I think he's going to be there at the end. Um, so I would look at Hamlin. I would look at Kyle Busch. Hamlin had a good car too at Dover. Um, if not for Cody, Ware spinning and nailing him. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where Hamlin would have finished, but I think he probably would have been top 10 easy. Um, he, he had good speed all day. So, um, I think he was running fourth when he, when he got wrecked. Um, so I would look at those two guys, Truex, I don't know. I, I, I really haven't seen Truex at all this season 
I, I haven't seen him. It hasn't said to me he's going to win. He has the winning car. I haven't seen that. I've seen good consistency, but I haven't seen that's the best car. He's going to come out on top. I've seen that with Kyle Busch. And even with the abysmal season that Denny Hamlin has had, I mean, he still has a win. And I think last week um, he had a good chance if he didn't get wrecked to win that thing. So um, those two guys from JGR I'm targeting. I'm also targeting a guy in Ross Chastain. Um, Ross Chastain has had a great season this year. He's had so much speed at every track. Um, and this is actually a track that he ran well at last year in Chip Ganassi equipment. So, um, and, and again, like he's a wheelman. I mean, this kid can really wheel that car. So I would look at Ross Chastain to have a big day. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets his third win of the season, which would be crazy. He would jump in the, in the, um, to, uh, uh, up top with wins. So, um, yeah, I think Ross Chastain is a guy that, that, that we should look at. And then I'm going to go with Larson. I think Larson um, overall has had good cars basically throughout the whole season. Um, some unlucky patches here and there, but I think Kyle Larson has had good cars. Um, he had a good one at Dover. I don't know if he ever had a, a legit chance to win, um, but he led a lot of laps. He was really fast. He's been fast all season. And this is a track <clears throat> where um, he had good finishes last year and almost, almost came uh, to getting a win in the playoffs last year um, against Denny Hamlin. So Chastain, Larson, Hamlin, Kyle Busch are the four that I think are probably one of those uh, four, I believe, will win this thing. Um, Kevin Harvick, I expect to have a good day. He had two good runs at Darlington last year. Um, he's been on a little bit of a hot streak recently. Let me grab up. Um, just want to grab up here. I'm sorry I don't have them up. But uh, let's take a look at Kevin Harvick's stats these last couple races. He's had a lot of speed. Um, and actually, Stuart Haas has been pretty good this year, with the exception of Cole Custer. Um, Al Marol has been good. Obviously, Briscoe has a win. But if you look at the last five races for um, Kevin Harvick, second at Richmond, 14th, which is okay at Martinsville. He didn't do good at Bristol. And then a 10th at Talladega and a 9th at Dover. Um, and he was running – top five, uh, a lot of the race at Dover. So, um, I would look at Kevin Harvick. I think he's going to have a good day he, again. He likes this track. This track has been good to him over the years. Um, he's gotten some wins at Darlington quite a bit actually. Um, so I would look at Kevin Harvick, um, to have a good day. And then two other guys that I think are also going to have a good day, Tyler Reddick and Chris Busher. Chris Busher is coming off a career day. I don't care what anybody says. That was probably from start to finish the best race of Chris Busher's career. He ran top 10 all race, um, started on the pole. He had speed all race, really never uh, went out of the top 10. He was there all, all race. Um, so Chris Busher is a guy I think the momentum carries over. Roush Fenway did really, really well at, at Darlington last year. I think Ryan Newman, that was one of his only top tens. Um, so I would look at Chris Busher to carry the momentum and have another really good day. I don't know what you want to do there, but I think a top 10 bet um, is, is one that you should probably definitely put some money on because I think that'll hit. And then Tyler Reddick is another guy, had good success here last year. Um, didn't have the best car at Dover. Um but he's had really good cars throughout the season. So I think Tyler Reddick, he's had, he had good uh, runs. This is a, a track that's a lot like Miami where you need to run high against the wall. That's why Larson, you know, can do what he can do here. Tyler Reddick, another guy, he'll be able to do that. Briscoe is another guy that that'll, that'll be able to do that with that dirt experience and background, but Tyler Reddick and Chris Busher, I expect those two to have good days. Um, top fives, top tens, whatever you want to put on those. I think, we could definitely see those cash. Um, and I, I expect both those to be at plus odds. So um, again, let's go through it. I think Chastain, Larson, Hamlin, Kyle Busch, I think one of those four gets it done. And then Reddick, Busher, and Harvick, I expect them all to have a good day. Um, would be cool. Would be cool to see one of those three win, to be honest with you. And I, I'm not the biggest Harvick fan, but um, he is due for a win. And I think no better place in that than the lady in black for Kevin Harvick. So um, look, those are it. Those are, those are what I'm thinking this week. Um, we're coming off a really good week at Dover. So I think we can carry that momentum, do it again this week at Darlington. Um, I want to hear what you guys think. Please put 
whatever you, uh, your thoughts in the, in the comments, give us a like a subscribe and, uh, Thanks for keep you guys are watching these. So I'm going to keep making them and uh, we're having success. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, but I appreciate everybody watching these tuning in and uh, hopefully, you know, you're making some money. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line um, or what, or if you're doing fantasy, whatever you're doing, whatever, whatever, if you're making fantasy picks, putting bets down, whatever it is. Um, I hope I'm helping you out. And um, yeah. So thanks guys.